Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is having regrets in life will keep you stuck. The one thing about what we when we go through tough times in our life, we hold on to the pain, the hurt, the sadness, sometimes the anger. And it, it takes hold of who we are and takes over our personality because now we are sort of subjecting ourselves to feeling all those thoughts all the time. It really takes hold of our mindset when we're dealing with really tough things. The trick here is to deal with what happened. Don't hold on to it and forgive yourself for what happened. We all make choices that maybe aren't ideal. They're not perfect. But sometimes we want to try something new. We want to try something out of the box and maybe it absolutely backfires on us. But you know what? The good thing about that is you're living your life. Having regrets, it can be sort of a good thing in a way because it means you tried something. It might not have worked out, but you didn't sit there and stay stagnant in your life and have the routine, repetitive lifestyle that some people do because they're afraid of change. They're afraid of doing something outside of their comfort zone or outside the box. Whenever you do anything in your life, it's always going to better the outcome later on. Maybe not right away, but you will keep going up the ladder. And the trouble with people who do one thing and doesn't work out and then they just stop and don't do anything anymore is that's where you kind of are making your life not as great as it could be because you're holding on to one or two things that maybe caused you some pain. Or maybe it was a heartbreak that you had one love of your life and you don't want to ever go there again. These are mistakes because when you experience something and it doesn't work out, it's because there's something better for you. And I know we all hear that and we go, yeah, whatever. But you know what? It really is true. If you look back at your life at some of the things that didn't work out for you, some of the things you have regrets over, would you really want to be in that situation now? This is a thing to ask yourself when you're holding on to these regrets. How would I be today if that happened for me? If that wasn't a regret, that actually worked out for me. Sometimes we just get stuck and we don't know how to get out of it. And what we do is we kind of set our life into a bit of a plane. Like it's not going anywhere because we're so afraid of having that situation come back again if we're going to try something and it doesn't work out. As I said earlier, when you try something and it doesn't work out, it's okay. Yes, it hurts at the time, but don't let your mindset tell you that's all there is, that you don't have anything else that you can try that will have a, make your life better. Sometimes when we hold on to regrets, we're also in a bit of a stage of a denial. We're not really owning our part in what happened. Because if you did own your part, you would eventually move on from it. Because you would get it. You would say to yourself, okay, I see what I did here. What can I do better next time? How can I better a situation? Or maybe that wasn't a good place for me and I'm gonna go on to another place. But if you're in denial about something that happened, you're going to be stuck for a lot longer because you're not learning any lessons and you're not owning the fact that you played a part. And that is huge in, in making your life so much happier. And sometimes we do things that it's just a matter of it wasn't a good fit for us, whatever it was, whether it was a job, a friendship, or, or a relationship. Every time you do anything in life, you learn something you have experience and those experiences are what make you a whole person and what make you a better person each time you put yourself out there. The best way to move forward when anything sort of gets you down or anything you've tried that didn't work out, just own your shortcomings. Own maybe what transpired in there that maybe you could have worked on, maybe something that you could make a little bit better next time. Or as I said earlier, maybe it's just not a good place for you to be. But holding on to it as a regret 
is not benefiting you. It's actually taking control of your life. I always say to people that if you sit down and look at your resume, what have I done? Or look at your dating history or your relationship history and look back at all those things. Were they really horrible? Sometimes we make really big mistakes with who we choose to be in a partnership with in business and in relationships. But once you do that, if you really own it, and say to yourself, okay, I allowed that into my life. I allowed that person to be a part of my life. Now I know that is not what I want. And sometimes when you know what you don't want, it helps you find what you do want moving forward. But if you hold on to, with grudge or with regrets, you're not getting it. You're not getting what you're supposed to learn. Making errors because you tried something new is a good thing. You're not boring to be around because you actually have spirit. You've got desires and, and things that you want to do. And so it makes you fun to be around. Just don't hold on to something if it didn't work out. I, I've talked to quite a few people who have had one thing that really, really bothers them in their life. And it's put them into a negative place for the remainder of their life. Don't ever let one or two things control you moving forward and evolving into a better person. Please don't have regrets. Please look at everything you do as a bonus. If it doesn't work out, oh well, on to the next thing. Just keep working your way through life and be the best version of yourself you can be. And in closing in this conversation today, regrets cause internal turmoil, which causes other problems to arise. It could be stress. It could be that you, you're not sleeping well, or you're getting sick a little bit more often because you're so upset about it. And it's taking control of you. There's nothing good that comes from having regrets. Look at it as a, a stepping stone to a better path. Please listen to this because I, I know from my own experience, I've hung on to things for too long and it really didn't serve me. You want to know that you tried something, it didn't work out, so now you're gonna try something else. And just keep moving up the path to being the better version of you. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Suit today. Please subscribe. And please leave any comments or show topics underneath the video here. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care.